What is up dudes and bros? You know who I am and it is time for the long awaited playthrough of Need for Speed Pro Street. And I am quite excited to be honest. It has been way too long. I should have done this a long time ago. So let's uh let's dive right into here. I'm going to go ahead and start a new career fresh slate. I don't have anything saved on this game. So it's going to be all brand new. So here we go. in just a little bit. But first, check it out. You've seen them in the DVDs, you've seen the magazine covers, and seriously, all the racers would kill for his crown. Rio Watanabe, people! The showdown king! Thank you so much for coming out today. Everyone here at Battle Machine is super psyched you could be here. Yeah, you know, I ran a lot of street races too. Until I went something like this. Yeah, it was my ticket to the big time. Still, it's nice to get back to such small races. Well, it may not be here, but we got to big Like, oh yeah, check it out. There's Ryan Cooper in that green S13. He's been on fire today. That dude's definitely a Battle Machine prospect. No, I don't know about this Cooper guy. Uh, he never would have cut it back in the day. They must have really lowered the standards this year. Hey, I'm not going to stick up for Cooper. His driving's got to do all the talking. Okay, okay. These dudes are looking ready. Every one of them is exceeding for the win. Because this, this is the big one. The winner of this race gets an invite to the big time battle machine race. So come on, Chicago. Shy down. Make some noise. Man, I'm excited. Let's do this. I have not played a racing game <laughs> since, oh God, last year sometime. I have no idea. Especially on the Xbox. See if we can make this one clean too. I don't remember what uh, difficulty I put it on. <laughs> We're going to find out. I think it's on King. Oh, come on, guys. Good bumping. This is so much different than Carbon. The steering is a lot heavier. I'm going to try and race a little more realistic instead of hitting walls like that and bouncing off stuff. 
I'm going to try and follow the, the race lines and not uh, slam into the back of people. A little pass right there. So we can pull some speed around the outside here. Alright, we're going to sneak by on the inside, I think. We got enough uh, acceleration to outdo that guy. We're already in first in the past the first lap. Now we're going to come around too fast. So, with this, uh, oh shit, with this playthrough, um, I'm wondering how long to make each episode, part, whatever you want to call them. Should I stick with 15 minutes, or should I drop it down to 10, or maybe should I go to half an hour? I don't know. Um, they were kind of all over the place when I did Carbon. Um, I think the average was about 15 minutes, though, so I might stick to that to start with. But uh, if people would prefer a different length, uh, by all means, just leave a comment let me know. I just... Oh, my God. Ooh, that was close. Uh, anyway, leave a comment, um, and I can uh, make it longer or shorter depending on what you guys want. Be doing this, and I got another game I'm going to be playing too. I'm going to be putting them out kind of uh, one after the other. See if we can get through both games. Um, I'm feeling that uh, they're both going to be a bit longer too than Carbon was. Which, I mean, I'm glad for. The last one was only 22 parts, if I remember correctly. Actually, it was 20. Because the first two weren't even on the same playthrough. But, there we go. We got our first race done. And I think... Cutscene. Yes. Thanks for helping us out, Rio. It's been real. Oh, folks, Cooper has crushed today. The dude just totally dominated. Oh, yeah, Cooper's coming up. I'm saying. Now that was super dramatic. Come on, dude. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. Cooper, you're going to Battle Machine, homie. You made it. Come on, you guys. Make some noise for him. Alrighty, uh, welcome to Battle Machine. You have unlocked your first racing organization. Win and dominate enough race days and you'll be invited to more. To begin, alright. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, they supply us with cars. Uh, I think it's going to be kind of off to a slow start. We're not going to be able to do a lot with what we have until we reach uh, another tier or so. All right, welcome to Battle Machine. This is your first challenge weekend. Challenges are the true test of your skills. No need to bring your whip. Battle Machine is providing all of them. Just uh, don't ask where they got them, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, to level the playing field, every car has been hand-tuned equally. The cars are ready. All you got to do is drive. If you wreck, you do not have to sweat the repairs. Yo, Battle Machine Mechanics will fix any damage you take. <laughs> Up to a point. If you total a car, it's done for the whole weekend. You total all your cars, and uh, you're heading home, homie. The only rule you need to remember is that winning isn't enough. You get to dominate. You earn points by racing. The better you do, the more points you get. Earn enough points, and you'll dominate the weekend. Manage to get that far without totaling out, and you'll walk away with a new ride. All right, well, that's basically what I just said, but uh, that was the official tutorial. So let's get started with this one. I um, guess we'll just start it off with a grip race, uh, Golf GTI. Okay, grip races have a ton of different types, but generally they're all about being the fastest car on the track. 
Rip races feature a bunch of drivers. All of them are gunning for the win, which makes for some dangerous moments. Fast reaction times will keep you in the race. When you're coming into tight corners, use the arrows and driving lines to pick the key spots to apply the brakes. Look for chances to pass other drivers, but try not to put yourself in a bad situation by passing in unsafe areas. You know what I'm saying? You know what they say, rubbing is racing and all that. You can intimidate the other drivers by trading paint with them. Be careful how much contact you make, though, because your car gets damaged as well. The more damage you take, the more engine damage you take, which makes winning that much tougher. If you take too much damage, you risk even totaling your car, so be careful. Well, I don't think we got to worry about totaling our car. Not until we're w into the really fast cars doing stuff. Those damn speed runs. I don't understand why you got to start in the back every single freaking time. Um, it's going to take me a few... Uh, say it, parts uh, probably gonna take me a little bit to get in the swing of the handling of these cars because it's much different than carbon they're a lot heavier and the steering takes a little longer to kick in so you kind of gotta wow it's really heavy you kind of got to push it before the turn even comes up and we're on a Xbox controller so we're not playing PS3 all right, I need to get around these guys. I know I got two laps, but come on. I need to be in first. All right, well, let's see if we can pass him in this corner up here. Oh, there goes that guy. He's going for the inside. Ooh, got a little bit of rubbing going on. Go for the inside line. All right, we got one of them. Might be able to take... Ah, uh, no, he pulled out in front of us. Cut the track a little bit. Oh, shit. See if we can take this guy. See if we can take him up in this uh, little C bend. Ah, uh, wow, well, he blocked us in. Should get him here. Yep. Now it's just smooth sailing. I gotta make sure not uh, that I don't go off the course or hit anything. Or one of the really big bugs. Uh, it's not a bug. It's just the way they made this. If you flip your car, no matter if you roll it, you're totaled. Like, even if there's like no damage, you just go upside down, you're totaled. And I don't agree with that, but it's the way the game was made. And you can't turn while you have the brakes on max. <laughs> your car just goes straight. Oh, well, this was easy. And there's a the finish line, and we're done with our second race. Could have been a little prettier. Uh, my mirror was totally not hanging off the side of my car right there. You didn't see that. Finished eight seconds ahead of second place. We opened up a pretty big gap on him in that short time. I really wish that they would get the uh, the multiplayer with MX Reflex figured out. That game is so much fun to play, and I would I've never played it multiplayer. That would be awesome if I could. Alright, so let's go into a drag race now. And use the Cobalt. I don't like the Civic very much. It's all about posting the fastest times. Tournaments consist of multiple runs on the track, right? So, while you're only going to see one driver line up next to you, remember, there are a gang of other dudes competing too. Okay, to post fast times, you're going to need to heat your tires to the perfect temp. And you're going to do this in the staging area before each round. The goal in staging is to build as much grip as you can. You're gonna do this by holding your RPMs within the perfect staging zone as shown on the tag. The more grip you get in staging, the more traction you're gonna get going down the 1320. All right, this is important, homie, so listen up. Watch for the start signal and time your first shift to get a perfect launch. If you jump the gun, you'll be disqualified, so be careful. Nailing a shift in the perfect shift zone means you go faster and have a better chance to win. Hey, don't redline your car for too long, or it'll totally grenade your engine, which will hurt your chances to win the tournament, and it'll hurt your wallet. For an added challenge, why don't you try using the clutch and racing with a manual transmission? Well, I think we're racing with manual. Um, yeah, we're definitely doing manual, but I don't know what the clutch is. I've never looked into that. 
She's got a cobalt up against a Honda Civic, and she's going to wave at me. Ha ha ha. Bitch. So let's warm up these tires here. I am bad at this. Let's see if we can max it out. Come on. You know you want it, Max. You know you want it, Max. Ah. Let's see if we can do this. Perfect launch. Go. Wow, these things are really slow. <laughs> I think we're doing 14 second, or yeah, 14 second quarter miles. I'll do that in 13 though. I know in the uh, the uh, Charger, I, I played this a long time ago, and I had a maxed out. Uh, it was either a Charger or a Challenger. Now I was doing 7.2 second quarter or quarter miles. Just bonkers speed crazy I don't like these front-wheel drag cars they just don't they don't look right to me come on max grip come on ah oh, wow perfect launch go I thought I jumped the gun on that one a little bit uh, we got a good shift we missed a perfect one we're not going to beat our 13 second. Wow, did we miss it by like a tenth? Oh no, we did beat it. Cool. And I, I missed a perfect shift too. This is our last one. See if we can beat a 13.04. See if we can get a max uh, grip bonus though. That would really help. That does not look like it's going to happen this time. Wow, we didn't even get an incredible burnout. Wow. Wow. Talk about embarrassing. Totally fucked up the shifts on that one. This one is in the garbage can. Boom. Oh, wow, I didn't hit him. <laughs> Alright, well, we still got it in the bag. 1800 bucks. I wish I could get $1,800 for winning a fucking drag race. That would be awesome. I think we only got to win one more and then we'll dominate. So let's do the uh, time attack one. I really don't like this first stage. I like it when we get to... Uh, uh, well... Uh, I can't even remember. It's the blue star thing. I don't remember the name of any of them. The one with the British, the British MC guy. And I think when we're done with this, uh, I get the, I get either the Cobalt or the Civic. Uh, and if, yeah, because it's got to be a drag car, so I'm gonna probably take the Cobalt. I won't keep it forever though. As soon as I can get like an old school muscle car, that's going for my drag car. Shit. I let off the uh, steering and the car like completely straightened out. It's very different compared to carbon. Damn, my bumper's already hanging off. Let's take this guy on the inside really fast. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the steering. If you guys uh, want to see any specific uh, vehicles too, let me know. I don't really have a plan for what I want to get in this one. Oh! No, don't take me out. That could have been bad. But uh, aside from... I'd like... Let's see if we can out-accelerate this guy to finish. I'd like uh, my drag car to be some sort of old uh, muscle car. Oh my god, this steering. But as far as the rest, uh, I really don't have a preference. If I do get a... Man, that corner. If I do get a free car marker... Uh, somehow, I would like to get the Pagani uh, Zonda and put that as my grip car. Because that's like the best damn vehicle in this game. But I still would need a muscle car for the drag. Uh, probably a tuner for uh, the drift races, which I am awful at, by the way. I am really good at them in carbon, but it's back ass opposite in uh, this. And then I need uh, some other fast exotic car for uh, 
the speed runs. I think the speed runs are the last uh, type of race that we unlock too. I'm not sure. All right, well we're done with one lap. Let's see if we can not hit this corner this time. There we go. Ooh, we came into that a little hot. Made up for it though. Whoa, what kind of lead do we got on these guys right now? We've got a 54 second lap right now. We might actually be beating that this time because I didn't hit the wall on that uh, second right hander. And it's actually going pretty smooth. So yeah, I think we're going to beat this 54.02 time. Oh, if I don't mess this corner up. Hanging that way outside. Got a little bit of understeer going on. What is that? Somebody lose a hood? Come on, let's beat that 54. Yeah, we got it. Easy. Eight second lead. Not bad at all. Another eighteen hundred dollars. I think that's enough to dominate the race day too. Yeah, uh, please give me free car marker. That works too. I'll take 10 grand. And I'm going to go with the Cobalt. Because traction and power is a little more important than aerodynamic. Uh, in my opinion. I don't know. Could be different for someone else. But that's uh, the way it is to me. And I think we're going to... Let's see. Four races. Five races. Let's go to the four race one. Thank you.